the system is first initialized, all the servo motors are set to the middle point and the light bulb stops. The three times speed of the car body signalize that the initiation is finished. The acceleration begins. Because of the inertia, the car body leans backwards, so the head goes up, the four wheels and the light bulb speed up. The acceleration is done, and then comes the braking. All the effects are in the contrary. The head down, the wheels and the light bulb accelerates. Finally, all parts return to the initial situation. First is the acceleration process. The velocity arrives at a certain constant value, and the automobile begins to turn right. The light belt forms the right-hand curve, and the two front wheels turn right. The car body leans toward the left and turns right slightly. The right turning light is on. After the right turn, every part returns to the initial situation. The drift effect starts also with straight line acceleration. After arriving the constant velocity, the drift process begins. The light belt forms the right hand curve and moves backwards. The two front wheels point leftwards, which demonstrates the drift effect. The car body leans intensively toward left because of the high speed and inertia. After the drift, the car returns to straight line and deceleration and stops.